so today's session i am discussing about terraform so terraform is used for provisioning resources so it is an automation it is using for automation so it is called infrastructure as a code so we can write a template and from template we can create resources so it is infrastructure as code so in aws we have a, uh, its own tool aws having cloud formation so cloud formation is is a similar uh, tool but it is working only with the aws so Azure is having uh, ARM template, all these things. So Terraform tool, Terraform will is a, a tool for provisioning resources, and it will work with the multiple uh, providers. So it it will it is working with AWS, it is working with uh, Azure, it will work with the Google Cloud. We can use this for uh, VMware, and we can use for OpenStack and all these things. So I am just today session I am showing a basic uh, in oh, overview. So first step is I am uh, going to download Terraform. So we can just download Terraform. It is just an executable file. So in Windows we can download Terraform. So I am going to search in Google for Terraform and I am going to download it. So I am just going to the website. So Terraform download. So we will download based on our platform. Uh, so we can download in Windows or Linux or a Mac. We can download it. So it is a zip file. So we don't have to install it. Just to download it, and we can copy in a folder. So in Windows version, I already downloaded, uh, and I pasted it in one folder. In my folder, it is there. So I will go to C colon. So I have a lot of scripts here. Uh, so I am going to Terraform and I pasted that uh, file. So I download I downloaded Terraform.exe. So we can see this file is there, Terraform.exe. I just downloaded it. So from the con up here, we have the option to download it. So it is just an exe file I, I pasted here. So next thing is, uh, so we can download this. <clears throat> We can download for Mac OS, FreeBSD, Windows, and all. We can download. So now I copied it into downloaded this uh, one package. We don't want to install or something. Just we can copy this file into uh, this folder. And we have to do a path setting. So we, we want to execute this from anywhere. We can go to control panel system and we can provide the path variable. So why we are giving the path variable because we can execute it from anywhere. So next thing is I have to create a script. So I'm going to control panel and I can provide this path. So I will go to control panel system. And I have to go to advanced and I have to make the environmental variable. So because I can execute this program from anywhere. So it is loading now. So next thing is, so I'm just going to this uh, advanced uh, environmental variable. So I am giving a path here. We can see that I have a path setting pointing to Terraform folder. So I can execute this program from anywhere. So now next thing is, now to download the template for this. So I'm going to download Terraform. So what I want to create. So I want to create one EC2 resource or I want to create one AWS VPC or I want to create S3. So whatever resource we want, we can just download it. So I'm just searching for a script for downloading AWS VPC. So this I am going to uh, paste in this. So this is the every air service we want to create. There is a corresponding script is there. So I'm going to paste it into Notepad. 
I'm going to open Notepad. So I will take the corresponding code from here and I will paste here. So before that, we need an IAM account. So in my system, AWS CLA is already configured. So I can see my AWS CLA is configured. Command prompt is already configured. So I will explain that if we don't know, I will explain this. So I can see that if I do AWS S3, it is showing all my S3 buckets and all. So that means it is configured here. So we can see here, this is the usage. So I want to create one uh, AWS VPC I want to create. So what is this range I am giving, getting? So I have to copy this into Notepad. So what I am trying to do from the script, I am going to create one VPC. So the VPC name is this. It's a logical name. And this is the tag name. So I'm, I'm going to save it. So I'm going to save it as in desktop or some folder, I will save this. And using this script, I will uh, create one. Uh, so I'm going to desktop or somewhere. I will copy this, create this file. So I'm going to create one folder. So any folder name we can create. So it can be anything. So test or whatever directory I can create. And I'm going to uh, save this file. So I can give this name, any name we can give. So I'm going to save the file. The file name extension must be a VPC. I'm going to give vpc.tf. So I'm going to save this file as a extension should be tf and we have to save it all file. So I can now call just to call the script. So I, I have to, I can create this VPC. So this is only thing I have to do. So one more thing I have to do is before starting, I have to give another option, AWS. Terraform provider. So I'm going to give a provider option. So that is the first uh, line we have to add this because uh, this Terraform we can use for multiple providers, cloud providers, like if I am going to this link, so we can use for Azure and we can use for Google Cloud and all the things. So now uh, this provider I have to specify in this uh, file. So I have a sample script is there. So this script is going to create one. So I have a script here. We find it. I'm going to uh, add in that script. So in, in my desktop folder, desktop in test directory, I have this script. So the script, I'm going to open it again. And in this file, I'm going to add some more thing. So we can create VPC, we can create subnet, internet gateway, S3, um, EC2 instance load balancer, auto scaling, everything we can create it. So in first thing is we have to give a line like this. So we have to provide one provider option we have to give in the file. And he, we have to give our keys and all we have to give. So to get this keys, we have to, so I have this script is there. So before adding this, what I have to do is I have to add this line. So in this, I can provide my region i can create if i want to create in india i will create edit it ap south one so i'm going to create in india and this access key and secret key for this we have to create a iam user from the user when we create the user we will get the access key and secret key but i am not using this because i have already configured aws cli so now next thing is i will go to my directory so I, I am it is in my desktop directory in my desktop i have a test folder so i will i can see that i have my script is there so my vpc.tf file is there so and now i have to do this command terraform two commands i have to do the very first thing is i have to do terraform in it so it will do initializing what it will do it will download some plugin and all so it will take two, three minutes to download this. Terraform init I have to give. 
so this command we have to do at the very first time so after this uh, we can uh, directly create start creating resources so it is downloading and it will take two minutes so i'm just pausing this this conference will now be recorded so i have given this command terraform in it so now i am giving i am just can check the directory so i have this script i am having so i can create a number of any number of uh, script in this folder and we can see one terraform folder is also created it downloaded some te templates plugins and all it downloaded so next command I have to do is terraform apply. So it will execute the script in this directory. So currently it is going to create one VPC. So I am going to give terraform apply. So I can check my VPC dashboard. There is only one VPC is there. Default VPC is there. But when I do this command, we can see one more VPC is going to be created now. <clears throat> This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. So I am starting the command again. So I have uh, my disk uh, size was full. So I am going to give terraform uh, init. So I, I went to the directory. I am going to do the terraform init command. So after this, I will do the terraform apply command. This conference will now be recorded. So I'm given the Terraform init command. So the second command is I have to give Terraform apply command. So it will start creating resources. In this case, it is going to create a VPC. So it is starting to create now. So I'm going to give yes. We can see that uh, one VPC will be created now. So in currently right now, I have only one VPC in my AWS console. But after this script, uh, we can see one more VPC is going to be created now. So now currently I have one VPC. So this uh, new VPC with the starting trend range is going to be created. So we can see the new VPC is created. So I created through this Terraform script. So now I want to destroy this. I want to delete this. I can give destroy command. So this is the basic overview about Terraform. But we can create uh, many resources. EC2 instance, load balancer, uh, all these things. So in this course, we are covering all this uh, Terraform creating Linux, Windows EC2 instance, VPC, subnet, S3 buckets, auto scaling, Terraform. We will study about Terraform variable modules and remote state, data source output. <clears throat>